let's take a look at another option. This is Microsoft Azure ML Studio. There's a new version of this, but I prefer the old classic version. So we'll go here. I've already signed in, so it knows it's me. All right, yeah, we're not gonna do a tour right now. So it's gonna give me a bunch of options. Um, and let's go ahead and just pick one. We'll um, pick this. And it's going to go ahead and render it all out for me. So I've got a little. All right, all this kind of came in here. So we're going to try and predict flight delays and we're going to use weather data to help us. So before we can get there, we need to start with weather data. We can take a look at this. We can see um, these, the, the flight information. So that's the year, month, day, All right, where it's going, whether or not it was delayed. Let's take a look at um, delay and see not often a lot of delay and very few things are canceled great let's take a look over here at the weather data it is also organized by um, year month and day we have an id here for the airport that makes sense we need to know the weather not just anywhere but at a specific airport and then temperature um, wind speed that kind of information. So what this is going to do is kind of moving around here. Um, it's going to go through and make changes automatically. These things have already been programmed in. Then it's going to join the data together right? and create a new data set. So let's take a look at this new data set. Let's go ahead and run it so it creates the data set that we need. Um, that's down here. Run. It's getting started, and you'll see the little section start going through um, as it's ready. Right, so, when we have the data, we're going to split it. As we talked about before, we're going to have test data and training data. So we use some data to train the model and then others to test to see how well we did. Um, and we've got two different ways we're going to do it. So just like in RapidMiner, we use two different algorithms. This is going to use boosted decision trees, which we used in RapidMiner, and logistic regression, which we also used in RapidMiner. And it's going to go ahead and score the model for us. So this will tell us the um, F1 score. And then we come down, we'll get a final data set when we're all done of uh, the outcome. So let's see how it's going. It's not very quick going through here. Selecting the columns it's interested in, great. Um, just applying a mathematical operation as it says. This R script is um, doing some basic manipulation to change the year, month, and day. Working with dates can be a little tricky, um, and so you, sometimes you need a little extra processing help to make that work. So we can see we've got parameters here, um, like the number of leaves. So let's say um, I actually only want to have five. I could change that here. Since it's running, I can't do that. Um, but change the number of trees. All those are things we can change, just like good in RapidMiner. Um, 
same thing with just regression. There's parameters we can change. Those are things we haven't talked about in class, but there are things that are configurable. While that's going, let's just take a look at um, some of the other things. So we've talked before about this one. This is predicting if an employee is going to quit. It works the same way. We split the data, we apply a boosted decision tree here um, to train the model, and then let's see, we get results. Let's take a look at the results. We get the um, predicted label, so zero means they didn't leave, one means they did, um, and the probability to go with it. Right? So how well we did here. Um, so let's see if it will also tell us anything else. That's the full thing here. So if you can read down here, it gives you the statistics on a bunch of different things. Um, but we don't want to look at that. We want to be back here. Uh, it's not wanting to tell me more. Okay, let's go back to the one we were working on here, our flight project. But it's still working. This is a slow one. So on this one here, we can do this same thing if we just switch out this data set with a different data set, basically. Um, we can keep a lot of the same information. Uh, we can use these as templates that have already been made. Hypothesis testing using t-test. Let's pull that over here. So what we're familiar with before. Um, Two-tailed sample. You bring the alpha, alpha level. You can bring the data in and um, apply that. Pretty cool. And here we go back to our flights. So all this is available for free. Um, just one way of looking at it. We'll pause.